Are you knocking? I keep hearing something like knocking up here. Am I not supposed to be in the women's area? Who's knocking? Alarm's going off. Is that you? Over here. Watching you. This was once the Greene County Poor Farm or Alms House. The part that we're standing in right now was actually built as a private residence in 1857 by the Reinhardt family. They lived here for four years. The county purchased it for their poor farm. First addition on in 1861 to house what they refer to as inmates. They got into a lot of overcrowding, built their second addition on in 1886 to alleviate the overcrowding. It operated for over 100 years, transitioning more into a nursing home in the latter part of its life. Paranormal activity is prevalent everywhere. But we do, in this section, get a lot of footsteps. Sometimes you hear people talking off in the distance, somebody on the steps, somebody walking past or peeking around the corner for, from another room. So um, a lot of activity up here. And this is actually furniture from the Reinhardt family, um, although we do not know for sure if any of it was ever actually in this building when they lived here, uh, but it is Reinhardt furniture. This is from the Crow family homestead, and the Crow family suffered um, a tragic loss um, from an Indian massacre, lost several of their daughters in the Indian massacre. I was working on one of the dressers in there, staining the shims underneath of it. And so I was pretty much under the piece of furniture. I heard someone walk from this doorway towards me and I wiggled out from under there and there was no one in the room. So I was the only one up here. Um, but the footfalls came right up behind me like they were looking to see what I was doing. We have it set up as a kid's room and we quite often find the beds messed up. Like, they, like someone was sitting on it and sometimes it looks like somebody was jumping on it. So now we're entering the final edition, which was 1886. This stairway was actually built as a fire break, so it is one solid piece of stone, floor and ceiling, and that is why you have such a gap between the first edition and the second edition um, to prevent fire from spreading if it broke out in one part or the other. So this is the upstairs of the west wing. This would have been female housing, and then the first floor would have been male housing, um, although we do know that they did not do a good job of keeping them apart because there were a lot of illegitimate births recorded in the ledger. Where people report the most activity, almost everyone, even if they're not investigating, there is always somebody with you when you're up here. Even if you're in the building alone, you feel somebody walking with you, definitely sense someone being there. Um, we do hear a lot of things up here, shuffling noises, footsteps. The activity up here is always crazy when someone investigates. If you've seen the PQ episode where they hear the shuffling sounds like slippers on the floor, this is where that noise came from, was right here. Oh my God. Hello. Goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello. And you can hear them captured on camera. Very loud, very clear, very audible. Ticking sound if you're here in Oh my God. Constant ticking sound if you're here in Dilly. I know he, when he and Steve heard those footsteps in here, they were both pretty shaken up about that. I remember Jason was, he was pretty freaked out and I think it took him back just a little bit. Women and children would have been up here. Now this room here to my left would have actually had a cell door on it and bars in the windows designated as a cell. And we know that they used it that way. So I can't imagine what you would have done to get put in there. Conditions were terrible. There 
were reports um, in newspapers and from state inspectors. A gentleman that wouldn't sleep in his bed, he was sleeping in the hallway on a pile of rags because his bed was full of bugs and he wouldn't sleep in it. A woman who was caged naked in a room. Yeah, we've read that in a report as well. Lots of, lots of bad things happen here. Like recorded deaths? Recorded around 800, so we figure probably about 1,000. The ledger is incomplete. A lot of times there is an entry for someone and just we don't know what happened to them. There's no entry about whether they passed, whether they moved on, killed themselves, ran away, because a lot of times people did run away. So we do have some marked as runaways in the ledger. Poor Farm is kind of the precursor to our modern day um, assistance system. So people that couldn't take care of themselves, um, maybe a widow that could not keep her children um, and herself fed would have come here. Unfortunately, it became more of a, an insane asylum almost because people with mental illness that they didn't know how to treat, that maybe families didn't know how to control or take care of would have come here as well. Um, so a lot of the entries in the ledger are marked as insane. And we do know that there was a steward that was um, recorded as being very brutal. Um, William Cage was noted as being quite mean to them, um, beating them, um, forcing them to bathe in the creek in the winter time. I can't imagine trying to deal with that many people with that many illnesses or disabilities perhaps and not having a full staff. My heart breaks for the children that were born here. I can't imagine being a kid here at all, and especially being born into it and not knowing a different life. It actually became legislation at one point, I believe, that they could not have children in a place like this. So they had their own institution, per se, to, to take care of the children. So it would have been a very sad and horrible existence for a kid. Different displays down through here. Our chapel room with pews and an altar from local churches. Yes, the creepy birds. Almost everybody, when they're in the dungeon, hears footsteps above them, which would be coming from this area. We also have heard people talking down here. So we do think that the residents here are very curious when we're doing stuff. And of course, everyone knows renovations can cause paranormal activity to increase. We really see it here, um, especially if we do something big. Did you hear the... <laughs> yeah, that... And honestly, I don't know what it is. You hear that quite frequently in here. Personally have seen the same apparition in this room multiple times. The one time it was sitting on the pew, um, one time it was standing in there. We know for a fact that they brought people down here as punishment. They would um, put them in these rooms for who knows how long for whatever they did. But we actually have um, in one of the rooms an anchor still in the beam that they would have shackled someone to. So this room is the one with the shackles. So if you go in there and Some people report seeing like a shadow that moves across the floor. Biggest thing I think is probably the feeling down here, the energy. Um, I don't know if it's being below grade. There's definitely a lot that goes on down here. The building itself has its own history and energy, but the hundreds of thousands of artifacts that we have could have brought different energy. I just think that with all of the turmoil, um, I think that a lot of people died tragically here. Um, were very unhappy here when they were alive, and I think they're just kind of stuck. I really do. Our hope is that the things that we're doing to make the place nice and clean and, and keeping it nice and remembering them and honoring, you know, what they went through um, and not letting their memory or, you know, hit story die. We, we hope it makes them happy. A lot of it just curious. You, you get that curious feeling, somebody watching you or somebody whispering in your ear. This would have been the poor farm kitchen and this would have been their brick oven bake room. This would have been where they cooked all the food for all of the inmates. The brick oven still operates. We actually use it um, during events. We cook in it for our fundraiser, our concession stand. But this is probably the most infamous story here. We had an inmate here who put her baby in the oven. Um, she, we believe the baby passed in the night. She thought it was cold. So she put it in the oven to warm it up. The other inmates or residents got up the next morning and smelled it. They thought they were having something good for breakfast or lunch. They thought maybe they were having turkey. Something good was cooking for them and then they found the baby in the oven. Why someone would do that we can't even fathom, but 
That's what happened in this room. More than likely, the baby was already passed, and that's why it was cold when she put it in there. Um, but I do feel the presence of the mother in here. Every time I tell the story, I feel like she's right here with me. I'm sure that she regrets what she did, and, you know, I think anybody would, but that's the sad story from this room. It measures seven feet diagonally. Yeah. And that's where you put the food in at. And then this is the firebox. So you put your wood in there. There is a story of an apparition of a small child when there was an event going on here. Several people reported seeing him, but there was no little boy to be found. That boy is the same one that um, our former caretaker had seen many times. And one of our volunteers, I believe he's seen him as well. My name's Josh. This is my brother, Sean. We're from Ohio, and we came here to Pennsylvania tonight to talk to you. We're here in town doing some work, and we heard a lot of stuff about your place. Can you see or hear us right now? Where are you at right now? That's the good thing about these wood floors, like right here. When something's walking, you can definitely hear it. Let's get back to this room. Is there anybody in here with us? Just got a creepy quietness to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Are there any patients here? It's always freaking creepy. Hello? Whoa, shh. Wood. Are you upstairs right now? Are you setting our alarm off? Is it like a female? The people that work here, did they see you one day? Can you set the alarm off again right there? We are just here to talk to you tonight, find out more about your building and your time here. Hey, I'm coming down. It's crazy out there, you kind of got some light, but this hallway is freaking pitch black. Now it's even creepier. If there's anybody down this hallway and like talk to us, this is a great time to do it. Can you knock on one of the doors? Let me know what room you're in. Did you live here at one time? This go in there, that's where she's seen the full body apparition. Yeah, I think she said she's seen it like right in this area, but she said, I think that was the second time she's seen one. Did you hear that? Mm hmm. There's a, there was a warning going on. Hey, because she said they set off REM pods down here. This area down here just feels freaking creepy. Oh. When I was upstairs, I heard an alarm going off. If you set it off down here, can you do it again for me? Can you tell me what you did down here? Was you locked in one of these rooms? That would be a, a scary experience. I like walking. Go back that way. I 
It's like something touched, brushed up against my arm when I was walking through there. Your left arm or your right? Left arm. They invited us here to see if we can get a little bit more answers, see why you're here. Walking. That was freaking, yeah. Are you above us? When I was upstairs, it sounded like you was down here. I think they even called them inmates. Oh, did they? Mm hmm. Was you an inmate here? Feels like it's like the walls are while you're staying in here. Feels like they're like closing in on you. It's like the word is filled. What'd you do to get put in here? Oh. I heard a real loud thump. Or well, now I heard like a scream too. Could you tell where it came from? It sounded like it was like right above us. Maybe it wasn't the one down here. Maybe it wasn't that kitchen. She said, like, when she's in here, or even in the house, anywhere, talking about her, she said it feels like she's here, where they haven't ever heard the baby crying or anything, which is good. The woman that uh, put the baby in this oven, are you here with us? Two in the building, so. No, we've been through this whole building. That's awesome. Where are you at? Come on, I keep hearing you. I feel like I'm just chasing you around. Are you back here? whole place chasing you. Did anything in this room belong to you? Walking. Yeah. You smell that? It smells like cigar smoke. Yeah. Are you walking up in this area? We're looking for our friend. They said that he lived here on the second floor. That was it. That was freaking creepy. 
Do you know who our friend is? Who made that noise? It sound like somebody clearing their throat. Mm -hmm. I go, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this second floor is freaking creepy as hell. My little nephew, he was here too. Little red-headed boy. Have you guys seen him? Can you help us find him, please? Holy shit. Did you tell where that came from? It's up here. Well, this is that room. This is the area that she said everybody gets creeped out on. This area right here. Yep. Are you back that hallway? This is the women's wing. I just got a cold breeze on the back of my neck. Yeah, I got goosebumps. That was weird. It was really faint, but just enough. Okay, we're coming back in the women's area. You got a couple of men back here now. You guys like having men back here? Watch out, alarm on the floor. Are there any women in here? We got Sean, he's a single guy. You guys probably didn't have a whole lot of men come in here, did you? We're gonna come into one of your bedrooms. Yeah, this area definitely feels, even during the day, this area felt freaking creepy. Is that you? That was loud. Yeah, that sounded like it was right out here behind me. Are you allowed having men in your room? If you want us out of here, What the hell was that? Are you mad that we're in here? That's that room with that freaking cross. Yeah, hallway on the window. Okay, we heard something while we was up here. Can you tell me what your name is, please? They would talk about some of the women that would end up pregnant that lived here. Did you have the baby while you was living here? You know, I see you. I see you. Where are you at? I can't see you. Can you do something so I know where to come to? Today. Did you die in this place? Oh. Holy shit, that's loud. That was real freaking loud. Dude, that came from one of these rooms. But the bad thing about it is some of these rooms are blocked off so you can't get into them. And it sounds like there's stuff coming from behind the door. He was, he was knocking on something. Can you do Upstairs. that? Upstairs. Upstairs. That's what it sounded like it came from. We're coming. We'll come find you, okay? We are upstairs. Oh shit, we are anyway. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that? Go back that way. See where they're at. Which way? That way. Keep going where you're going. Glass. Glass. A whole bunch of glass all around me. This room is full of freaking glass. Can you see me? Why did you come? To find out who you are. And find our cousin. Have you seen a red-headed boy? We can't find him. 
Can you tell me where he's at? I need help. I'm scared. Where did you go? I say let's keep going back this other way where it said glass. Church. 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 The room that's made like oh, a church. Oh, yes. Go to it. Oh, that's on the other floor. That's downstairs. Hey, which room? I know there's a... It's the next one. This is the chapel. Is this the room you were talking about? Oh, oh shit. That was freaking loud. And that was right on like this altar thing. Yeah. Did you just knock on something? Is this where you wanted us to be? You just started talking to us, don't leave us. Early. Early. You have to go to church early? Swing. Do you have to go to church early in the morning? Tomorrow is Sunday morning. Where are you at? Talk to me. I am talking to you. What is your name? Make a noise. Oh, make a noise. There's that post over there. Can you do that? You know what we should do? Set up camera. Whoa. Dude. Take that. Hold on. You know what we should do? Set up camera. Whoa. Dude. Take that. Hold on. Hold on. Who was that? Fucking telling you. Like this fucking rain right beside me. And then yell, go! And the alarm went off. Who was that? Dude, I mean, I'm, I'm like fucking goosebumps, cold chills. This ran beside me. Dude, I mean, I got like this freaking cold breeze right here and it goes, go! I mean, like right in my ear. Holy crap. And then, and it was, it was like it was running that way. And then the next thing you know, the alarm went off. Did you not like Josh's idea? He didn't even get to tell me yet. Where'd you go? Was that the woman from the kitchen? Did we spook somebody? You go, can you do, go up to Josh? You're allowed to touch him. He's real. So what I think we should do is you go to the basement, the dungeon, we'll put cameras on you, with a walkie talkie, and then I'll sit up here at the command post, see what you get by yourself, and then um, after we do that, I'll go up to that women's ward by myself. Okay. Okay. Do you think I should uh, use the ghost tube down there? You can try it if you're not getting anything. Shut it off. Turn this light on real quick and let's just reset it. I'm down in the dungeon where I don't even know what they actually did to people down here, but the doors are like tiny, like short, and there are shackles in one of them, so it's creepy down here. Somebody behind me? Sounds like scratching or something.
What's your name? Sean, can you hear me? Yes, don't do that crap. You're scared to show me. There's like, uh, I started hearing like noises behind me. Almost like scratching or something. I'm just curious if separating, putting you down there by yourself, they'll be, they'll come out and talk to you. So just try to communicate with them. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll do my best. It's, it's freaky down here, man. I mean, it is freaky. It's like all kinds of, started hearing noises just right behind me. Nothing on the ghost tube yet. I'm down here all by myself. What'd you do to get put down here? Did you do something to one of the women and then they put you down here? Whoever scared me upstairs, are you down here with me? I'm not sure if I startled you or you startled me. You're coming? Well, if you talk to me, then you must be here. What room are you in? Are you close by me? We'll go back here where the woman cooked the baby, which is freaking creepy. I heard you like it better when people's by themselves. Deceased. Deceased. I'm not. Johnny. Who's Johnny? Is Johnny one of the people that could have been down here? Cooked your baby in this oven behind me. And that people come in here since you. Are you in here with me? You can set one of my alarms off. Me and Josh have been looking for the little boy. We're related to him. He's got red hair. Can you help us find him? Last I think he was out in the barn. I don't know if he came in here. I couldn't find him in the barn. No freaking way. Thank you. I'm sorry that that happened to you and that your baby died. I got freaking cold chills. What happened to me? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Where are you at right now? It is so freaking scary down here. Holy crap. Are you still sad about what happened to your baby? Are you upstairs with Josh? So it's bad. Josh is pretty far away from me right now. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Do you stay in this room because you feel bad? No. It's lighting up. Holy shit. That means you're close to me. If you're lighting that light up, I've got an alarm in the fire in the uh, oven, and I was talking to her, and she set the alarm off. Yeah, this kitchen with this alarm and this oven is freaking creepy. I don't know if it's just the story, but she seems to be trying to communicate. Well, that's the thing, you know, with that story, you know, it's definitely true. So.
Yeah, just leave that one down there for right now. <gasps> okay, I'll leave it open. Sorry. Sean, I went to close this door and it set the alarm off. Maybe she doesn't like that door closed. Okay, I'm up here by myself in the, in the women's area. What the frick is that? Is that you? It's like I heard one of those doors move. My name is Josh. Is this where the women all stay? Whoa! Who made that noise? Can you do that again? This floor is definitely creepy. I've heard what sounded like a... Call out. Hey, I don't think your mic's working. Shut it off, turn it back on. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Can you move away from my alarm? Thank you. Are you knocking? Keep hearing something like knocking up here. Am I not supposed to be in the women's area? Who's knocking? <gasps> Alarm's going off. Is that you? Are you over by my alarm? Did you walk past my alarm getting closer to me? You can walk back by my alarm, please. Staring down this dark hallway. It's pretty creepy. They said that you like to set REM pods off up here. Is that why you set mine off? So this is a dark ass hallway. There's literally rooms on every side with doors open. Which makes it even more creepy. Cold breeze, heard a knock. I know you're in here with me. I was looking for my cousin. Somebody called and they said that she stuck a baby in the oven. 
Do you know who she is? Okay, I'm going out to the barn. Okay, I'm heading down to get Sean. I'm going to leave these cam this camera up here rolling. Okay, I'm coming. Holy shit, that... That's definitely the creepiest hallway. What you got? Oh, you leaving stuff up there? Leave that one camera up there. If anybody's up here, you triggered my alarm. Can you do that again, please? Josh was up here, he said he kept hearing knocking. trying to talk to me? Hello? But this is where they would house the women. I don't think I've ever heard so much walking in my life. Can you knock on these doors? How did you get treated when you was here? I was scared down in the basement. But here on this floor, it's terrifying. It's like, what the heck is going on? I got a device here you can try to talk through. I know you're here. I can keep hearing you. You can talk on this or you can hit it. Stressed. Who's stressed? What's your name? Go away. <gasps> Go away. Why don't you want me here? Is it because I'm a man? Men probably wasn't loud in here. Josh down in the uh, dungeon. In danger. Who's in danger, Josh? Come lady. <gasps> lady. What the hell? That's weird. It said lady, and then it shut my ghost tube off. Like chills going through my body right now. I don't think I ever had my ghost tube shut off before. But that's crazy that it said lady. And this is where they house the ladies. Camera just went dead too. Right, it said karma and then my camera went dead. Change. I right, just changed the battery because you keep killing it. Why are you doing that for? What the hell was that? Holy shit. <gasps> Holy shit. Josh. What? Running. 
It just said running. It just said running. Josh, come up here and just sit right here. I'm telling you, it's like oh. home. But right when I go, when I told you, I said, now Josh, hurry up and get up here. This thing comes across and goes running. Oh, shit. Upstairs. Upstairs. We are upstairs. We're upstairs right now. Are you talking about the attic? Behind you. Are you in the room behind me? Can you come out in the hallway with me? No way. Guilt. Guilt. The oven. Judge. Stop. Brother. Watching. Do you have guilt about your baby? You know, nobody blames you for that. They believe that your baby may have been dead before you ever did that. And you were just trying to help your baby. Is that what you're guilty about? Oh, was that? that was loud. Priest. What the hell was going on? Freak. That was freaking loud. Nancy, where am I? Flames. Kill. Andrew. Abused. Guilty. Flames. Are you in that far room? Hit something for us. Did somebody frame you? Look. What is it? Oh, right there. What is it? Something, something right, right by there. And there was like a shadow that went like straight. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Right there. What the fuck is it? Sean. <gasps> Sean. Who said Sean's name? I seen a shadow come through here. Josh, go where the kids are. Remember they say the bats get messed up. Where the hell's that at? Right here off your right. It's one of these right here off your right, I thought. Right here. Oh, that's so in here. Right here. Or no, that's the other one. It's not this one. That's the barber. The cat down this all done. So all I want to do is run into some freaking ghost kids. Right here. This one. They said the beds would be messed up. Like it looked like somebody was sitting on them. Did somebody sit on this bed? Thank you.
Beetlejuice. 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 Where you at? Josh seen you. Murder. Look, and it shut off again. That's the second time that it shut off my ghost tube. And it said murder, then shut the ghost tube off. Would this been some of the... Bedroom. Oh, you're in a bedroom. No, yeah. Go back to the bedroom. I kind of want to film in front of me because if we catch that shadow again. What happened? I don't know. You got to tell me. Where you at? Hello? Are you talking? Let's wait right here for a second. You're setting every alarm in there off. Who's in there? I talk and it stops. Look, look. Who is, who are you? No way. Torture? Yeah. What the hell was that? We're gonna go out to the barn and try to find the little redheaded one. Closet. Closet. Is there anybody out here that'd like to talk to Josh and I? We've been over in the building investigating all night. We'd love to be able to have the chance to talk to you to find out who's here. Can you give me a sign, let me know that you're in here? The little boy that they see out here. Can we see you? My name is Josh. This is my brother, Sean. Why are you here? Did you hear that? Can you come out so we can see you? Was that you? Do you need somebody to play with? <gasps> Holy shit. Can you hit something again for us? Hell's back there. You better make sure the floor is safe. I can't see. Shit. <laughs> Don't move. Anybody in here? Do you stay in here? Why is it moving? Yeah, we probably shouldn't walk on this floor up here. <laughs> 